How are you getting on folks? Derek here again. Just out for a stroll here in Mitchell's town. Um just popped into town there to meet up with some uh some friends. Absolutely smashing day here. Um it's almost bordering on too warm, but you look. We'll take that too. Um I just said I'd pop down here to Kingston College just to have a little stroll around the place. I just wanted to see if any of our new guests have arrived and uh, see if they're feeling comfortable with their new accommodation. Um, it seems fairly quiet down here, but it usually is, you know. Um, but there's a good few empty houses here. At the moment, they seem empty anyway. Um, but as you know, there's a, a few families now around Mitchellstown who don't have a house to sleep in tonight. They don't have a bed to sleep in tonight. Stacey Breen and her family are sleeping in their car tonight. Um, just a couple of points I wanted to make about uh, the whole scenario with Kingston College. When I um, was contacted by RTE um, asking me to help out with the volunteer work, um, the proposition that I put to them was uh, if they would agree to help put 50% Irish into the houses, 50% uh, Irish, 50% Ukrainian, then I would volunteer my services. A lot of people are confused. Why didn't I ask for 100% Irish? No, just let me explain. Let me explain myself here. Um, I believe that 100% of these houses should go to Irish people. Um, it's the 50% number was was a tactic. I knew that if I asked for 100% Irish, right, there's a lot of people kind of in the middle. Ground. How are you getting on? Not too bad. Not too bad. Are you living here, are you? I am. You are, right? Have the new, uh, have the new guests. I didn't see Move. any of them yet. Really? They haven't got here yet. Uh, there, there was supposed to be someone coming in to number one over there, all right. Right. But I didn't hear them. I didn't hear or see of them yet. Go oh, really? I guess they're probably on the way. The houses, right? Have been ready now with nearly a month, haven't they? Yeah. Uh, well, they were waiting for these people to arrive. They're waiting for I'm them not to sure arrive. Whether they're in there or not. Right. They're supposed to arrive to number one there yesterday, but. I'm not sure yet, you know. I wish they told us because there's a right there's a couple of families here in town now. I could have used the beds there for the last few weeks. You know? I know the feeling. Yeah, yeah. It is uh it is a fairly sad state of affairs. You know? You'd I've to, you'd have to make inquiries elsewhere for that now. I've been making inquiries and I've yeah. been hitting brick walls everywhere I go. Yeah, we'll keep inquiring. Yeah. You know. How do you feel about it yourself? You're not in camera here now, don't worry you're so what can you do really, you know? Well, I suppose you speak up about it, you know? We can, we can, you know, make a bit of a protest about it. Um, the Ukrainians suffered a lot, like, over there. Yeah. I know what you're saying, all right. Yeah, but what about our own people? Like, right, I know, right, of a family uh, right here in town, all right, their house. Um, You'd have to get on to the council about that. Do you know okay. what? And the council would get on to the people involved here. Here? No, there's no good. That's all I can it's, say to you. Yeah, it's just the Protestant church. No, I, I spoke to them personally. Yeah. And well, I keep, asked them. Keep on to them. Yeah, well, look, that's what I'm doing now today. I'm... I'm um, that's, that's what I advise you to do. Yeah, okay. To be on, be, be on my control completely. Yeah. No okay. worries. No worries. Best Listen. Look, and the best look to you if you do. Yeah, have, oh, well, look. Right. Well, we keep pushing anyway. Indeed, you should, actually. You yeah, should. Thanks very much. Yeah. There we have it now, folks. There's one resident at Kingston College who... 
he believes that um, the only way to um, deal with the injustice that's happening down here is keep pushing. Just keep pushing. All right, so anyway, back to the 50% number. Uh, the reason why I went with 50% was I wanted to show how absurd this was. I knew they wouldn't go for 50% Irish. Um, um, but if I asked for 100% Irish to go in, right, there's a lot of people here, um, you know, sort of sitting on the fence with this. They believe, oh, look, the people, you know, from Ukraine need help as well. It was those people that I was trying to um, reach out to. So my reasoning was, if I said 50% Irish, 50% Ukraine, that was more than reasonable according to those people, right? So when I was refused um, the 50% or even, even one house out of eight, um, I was hoping that that would cause so much outrage how are ya? so much outrage in the community that there would be uproar now there has been uproar to a certain degree but it's been mostly you know it's been kept kind of quiet you know like it's the all Irish thing what's going on is a disgrace but don't tell them I said that you know um so yeah i believe every single one of these houses should have been given to homeless irish people right, right and when every man woman and child from this country not in the country from the country is housed and has a bed to sleep in then we should um open up the gates then to the rest of the world Right, and whatever's left over, then we can help out. But, but we should 100% be housing the Irish people first, right, and then whatever we're left with can go to charity. But um, there's there's uh, there's there's people now from this country who were born here need houses at the moment and for this type of carry on um to be happening is absolutely unacceptable in my books um so yeah i actually posted on my uh, facebook and telegram earlier that i'd be at kingston college right at, at uh five o'clock today i was hoping a few of the locals would come down to meet me, but you know what? It's it's a uh, it's a uh, fierce good weather today, and a lot of people are gone away to the beach, and it was very short notice. So, look, I suppose it wasn't that urgent. But look, uh, this was always going to be about pressure. Um, two years ago, right when the COVID thing started how are you when the covid thing started a lot of people um felt the pressure straight away they knew what was happening um forcing people to lock themselves in their home for their own safety was wrong um so a lot of people knew what was coming down the road as far as i'm concerned all this is is just another crisis um caused by the un the world health organization the irish government the ukrainian government to um um relieve you of your freedoms and your cash um so um the reason why people haven't showed up today well look they just haven't felt the pressure yet but look with the incoming food shortages which is going to happen and it's going to be a very cold winter for a lot of irish people right and now they're talking about um power cuts planned power cuts 
to uh, save the grid. Look, it's going to be a, it's not going to be a fun winter for a lot of people. Conspiracy theorists like myself started putting away food, uh, geez, I don't know, two and a half years ago now. Um, fuel, uh, diesel generators, you know, we're, we're, you know, fairly well looked after because what was a conspiracy theory two years ago is very much reality now for a lot of people. And I think um, a lot of people have to feel that reality before they get on board with what's going on. But uh, no, it looks, it looks uh, fairly quiet in Kingston College here now today. The, the local man there said that one family was supposed to move in here in the next couple of days. And this is a month after the houses were finished. Um, Billy Skews from the Protestant church said all right, that they couldn't move in up to now because of a snag list, which I offered to um, fill the snag list for one of the houses if he agreed to give it to the Breen family. But he also refused that. For those of you that don't know what a snag list is, it's the small little bits and pieces of jobs that need to be finished after a project. I agreed to do that for free, but he also refused that. Strictly no Irish um, allowed, right? In the eight houses here in Kingston College, only Ukrainians. But here we are now a month later, the houses have been sitting here for a month, right? Empty, okay? And the Breens have been sleeping inside in their car for the last two weeks. Um, in the cold nights. It's warm during the day, but it's not that warm at night. And uh, still no people inside in the houses. So, look folks, that's all I have to say here for today. This is Kingston College here. Look, they've got all the, they've got all the flags up to welcome our new guests. And something else I noticed was the concert I have a photo of it, but there was a poster right there a couple of weeks ago right, of a, a welcome concert for all the Ukrainians. 20 euro a ticket, you have to pay 20 euro a ticket, but all funds will go to helping the Ukrainians even more. Okay, You don't see any welcome concerts for, for the Breens, or you don't, you don't hear of any help out concerts right, for the people sleeping rough around Mitchellstown. But yeah, we can welcome in. Um, eight housefuls of black strangers here and we can put we can put concerts together and we can hang up the flags and roll out the red carpet for 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 those people no problem at all well folks this is ireland the right land of a thousand welcomes right except if you're irish no irish people allowed okay i'll talk to you soon folks